Hi Libra, welcome to your next seven days reading and I'm going to look at, into your uh, current energies, what's crossing you, recent past, immediate future as well as what you are, what you are uh, releasing and embracing and what are the other things that you need to know so and uh, these are general readings so may or may not resonate for all of you so please take only that resonance and you can leave the rest uh, behind for others to take on okay and I'm going to close off with an oracle message from the monology oracle deck and let's see what's on your way okay so in your current situation you have is the temperance card um you are trying to uh, balance create a balance into whatever situations that you are currently in and you are seeing like how best you can balance everything and make everything happen you are receiving some kind of support as well um something that is uh, creating within yourself in order to find balance into your external world so uh, it is like uh, some uh, balance in your internal internally some kind of balance is happening with you and uh, which is uh, which is uh, focusing which is um, uh, focusing into your external world as well what's crossing you is this uh, four of swords uh, you are trying to see like what stability you can bring through into the areas maybe you are finding it uh, some stability is missing so you are working on those stabilities in order to create balance so uh, for that you need to relax rejuvenate and see like so that your energies come come into uh, certain situations where you can balance up on things well uh, in your recent past uh, you had is the f uh, six of wands uh, which is like you you uh, you were in an energy where you had recognitions you were on the spotlight people supported you and uh, reward was there it was like a big kind of celebration for you and you were just happy to have those things and um, uh, what is uh, like uh, what you are uh, releasing is uh, something that which is not working for you well and uh, that which you did not do it uh, last time or that which did not work it out in the last uh, area and you wanted to release those things and see what is the new things that you can uh, work at it so you are releasing uh, something that you worked any it could be anything where it did not work out well now is the second chance for you and you are you are trying to see that uh, that which did not work out well and the methods that you have used you do not want to use it the second time so you are getting a second chance and uh, that will help you to um, move uh, for a better future and you are just releasing those areas there will be support support there will be you are building up certain things what you are embracing is your thoughts like there could be some uh, area where you found that your thoughts is not uh, properly used or your ideas are not properly used or or you are trying to see how best you can use your thoughts and put them into action so you are embracing those areas um, which that did not work it work out uh, for you as a lesson for you now to see how what situations you can create uh, so that um, you do not um, so that it becomes it doesn't becomes only a competitive winning but something that will bring change so you are embracing some change uh, in the areas where you are also where you also have some fear that it may bring some defeat for you uh, so you are embracing those change in order to fight your own best way to fight through your fears to walk through your fears and bring those change into um, into and bring those change into your situations that you are working uh, best you are trying to balance those things and in your immediate future is the two of swords where uh, some kind of confusion or you are on the crossroad and you are trying to see what is the best other alternatives that you can uh, have or in uh, not only those two roads but what is the other alternative so you are looking into other great alternatives that will uh, work best for you 
what you need to know is king of swords you are intelligent in your intellect is at half point you are confident and some transformation is on your way and for which you are just working it out the best possible way that you can do it with your intel uh, intellect and wisdom that you ha already have within you knight of pentacles you are focusing on something uh, very concrete and which which you want to relate into a very practical and realistic way so you are focusing on that but you are not taking any actions and you are just thinking what is the best way you can take action so that uh, it can bring outcome and result for you nine of swords is also over here which is like this is a card of overthinking um like anxiety and overthinking is also hovering on you so you are working that out in order to best not uh, pay attention to anything unrealistic and uh, it is like overthinking that uh, what you think is um, what you think what you are thinking like uh, it, it is going to be worst actually it is not uh, the situation is something different so you just need to look at it in a different perspective as I have already it's already there in your uh, immediate future card uh, which is like uh, there could be some kind of confusions um, and that will you just need to pay attention and see what is the alternative way that you can do it and uh, nine of swords is uh, is like overthinking like too much of overthinking you just need to re uh, uh, release some of the areas that um, because overthinking will not uh, help you to uh, lead you any way so you will be taking care of those uh, uh, situations in a very uh, tactful with your wise and uh, uh, wisdom and intellect you will you are going to uh, do it so that you can uh, see some transformation or some changes happening in your uh, situations let's see what we have from the monology oracle deck you are good enough wow okay you are good enough and it says that um, find a balance between the cosmic and the mundane in your daily life which is already here in, in your current situations you are already working at a temperance which is like you are finding trying to find uh, some kind of some balance in your uh, current situations and this is your card is also um, the oracle card is also talking about the same thing uh, find a balance between the cosmic and the mundane in your life and uh, worrying too much will attract more things you worry about again nine of souls like it is a kind of worrying so it's better that you don't worry less worry and because it will bring the same thing as what you given put in your energy it will bring in the same thing uh, so you know, worrying too much will attract more things to worry about have you been overly critical an apology may be in order stop second guessing yourself raise your karma by doing uh, something good for someone else so this is the time for you just uh, the judgment card is also over here like giving you are getting a second chance and you will be receiving support um support you will see you will see like out of the no out of no way support is coming towards you so this is like the divine um taking care of your taking care of your situations it, only if you you also just need to pay attention to what all things that you are working out because your each action will help you to create something uh, that you are presently uh, that you are presently uh, in so that is all i have for you my uh, dear libra i hope this helped and thank you for tuning in and watching and see you in my next video bye